And uh, we're just about ready for this. Let's go up to Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome now to the ring from the blue corner, Wilmer Mejia. Well, here comes Wilma Mejia, who is a 23-year-old left-hander who comes to us all the way from Santiago in the Dominican Republic. Uh, this is only his fourth fight outside the Dominican Republic. Normally, he's a junior middleweight, but he's moving up to 160 for this matchup. And uh, he will be giving John Duddy a little bit of a different look, Sean, because he is a left-hander. And while uh, Duddy certainly has faced a couple left-handers, here he takes on uh, Mejia. Well, he, uh, Duddy took on a left-hander fight before last in Joseph Brady. But it's very confusing. The left-handed stance is like facing a left-handed batter or even a left-handed pitcher. There's more right-handers in sure. boxing, and I guess in sports, too. And in boxing, it's very confusing. The fighters come at you in a different style. They jab with their right hand, left cross, and right hook, as opposed to left jab, right cross, and mm -hmm. left hook. So it's, it's very confusing, but if you know how to fight them, you can handle them. Well, we'll see how Mejia uh, gets, it work, gets it done, and, uh, now let's, uh, and um, we'll see how he, uh, how he does. You think it's John Duddy's group? I think so. I think it is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, entering the ring from the red corner, Ireland's John Duddy. So, bad pipes and all. John Duddy, a popular, crowd-pleasing 26-year-old, who's originally from Gary in Northern Ireland. has 12 knockouts and 13 fights, all wins. And uh, he creates fireworks often when he fights. We'll see if that happens tonight. Oh, and he's so excited, excited and exciting to watch. He has a great alacrity toward boxing. His father boxed before him. He's been around the sport. He's been a gym rat, and he loves the sport of boxing. He's here to show his wares tonight. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape in this one and see how they match up. Uh, you see that uh, the height uh, is virtually the same and uh, very similar. Interesting, Mejia weighing in at so much more when normally he is a junior middleweight. So he's pretty high up in weight for him. Let's see if that has some impact on his uh, training and how he will perform here tonight. And we're set to go for this middleweight encounter. So let's go to Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by Warriors Boxing Promotions in association with Irish Ropes Boxing. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Your judges scoring this fight at ringside are Peter Tremetera, Michael Pernick, and Alex Levin. Your referee in charge of the action is James Waring. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue and silver trunks. He weighed in at 163 pounds. His professional record, 15 wins, four losses, two draws with 11 wins by way of knockout. He comes all the way from Santiago, Dominican Republic. Let's welcome Wilmer Mejia. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the green with the gold trim. He weighed in at a ready 159 pounds. This young man is undefeated in his professional career. 14 wins, no losses, 11 wins by way of knockout. He comes from Derry in Northern Ireland, now fighting out of the Big Apple, New York City, New York. Here is Ireland's John Tuddy. 
Eight rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Referee James Waring with the instructions. Fighters, let's go. Come over here. Fighters, over here. Fighters. Okay, right here. Right here, is, right here is okay here, okay? Right here is okay. You understand? Both of you guys understand? Touch gloves. Touch gloves. James Waring, uh, the referee, a former uh, light heavyweight and cruiserweight, a very good uh, fighter. And terrific boxer and a terrific referee. He's yeah. really studied the, the art of refereeing and really becoming one of the best. Absolutely, and he'll be officiating over this one. Uh, Wilma Mejia, the uh, Dominican Republic uh, boxer. Record of 15-4-2 uh, and two with 11 KOs. The Southpaw, as we mentioned, against John Duddy, who uh, is an explosive fighter. There's 12 knockouts and there's uh, 13 wins. Well, he says with his style, Duddy does, he says, I'm aggressive in the ring, his best punch. He said, well, they're both good. Now, I know he'll put a lot of on Mejia. There's Mejia trying to fight back, but Duddy on the attack. Look at this. Non-stop punching. He's very, very aggressive. He had an extensive amateur here, 100 wins, 30 losses. He's an amateur in oh. Ireland, moved to the United States. He's now fighting out of New York. Oh, look at that faint. Look at that faint right there. You faint your guys out, your guy out of his shoes. It's fantastic. Just faint, just a little bit of move like that, jerky move. See what he's going to do. Nice work from Duddy. Look at that left hook. Four left hooks. Well, the way to beat a lefty for the most part is to use those double left hooks on the body in the head. He is now going after Romo Mejia against the ropes. Left hook and the straight right hand, a real straight right. You're also told to keep your, your front foot outside your opponent's front foot. And he's doing that, doing everything picture perfect. Good combination from Ireland's John Duddy. No, I'm not going to talk bad about John Duddy. Of course he's my Irish man. There you go. Uh, <laughs> We're just about halfway. Exactly. You, you know, you're, an, you're an impartial observer. I should have worn my green suit today. <laughs> halfway through oh. round number one, and so far it's been a very good round for Duddy as Wilma Mejia uh, tries to stay out of harm's way and keeps getting caught against those ropes. And Mejia's got to get that jab working. A jabbing southpaw is hard to beat. You see that jab, you stand on the internet, that's what confuses you. He's got to get that jab working. Oh, on top of him, Duddy. Well, the, the help he can so far of Duddy's been pretty good. But he is trying to counter back with Duddy slipping a lot of those punches. So very good first round for John Duddy. And you see part of the reason why he's such a popular fighter and why the fans enjoy him so much. He's very aggressive. It's exciting. You don't see any clinching here. They haven't clinched once. It's Duddy on the attack. The only, the only thing about, about Duddy is every punch has bad intentions, which I like sometimes, sometimes I don't. If you vary the intensity, it's easier to catch your opponent looking away. Good left hook from Duddy. Every shot, home run ball. Under a minute left to go. And he again against those ropes and takes another left hook to the body. So this body work by Duddy, very <laughs> impressive early. How can you find fault in 14-0 with 11 KOs, John Duddy? You know, he's just, he's, he's a machine. Very aggressive here as we count down the seconds and certainly he is counting them down in the round number one in this scheduled eight rounder of middleweights. Big right hand by Duddy punctuates a superb first round for him. A welcome one minute rest for Wilma Mejia as we follow John Duddy into his corner. And Larry Pike gets in there. Take your time and relax. Yeah. We're trying to know where you are, yeah. right? Relax, but you follow him. Step over. Step over. Right hand to the body, right up across left foot. Yeah. All right? You're trying just a little bit too hard. Stop trying to knock him out and put yeah. the punches together. You know what I'm saying? Nice and it happens. Words. Just keep going to the Harry body. Kite yeah. in the you corner, George yourself. Mitchell. You know nice nice relax. words. Don't try to knock him out with every shot. That's what they're saying. Here's the what's happening. Look at these punches. Good combination. Look how he's mixing it up, too. Duddy going downstairs to the body, then he comes up to the head. Once a, a, a retaliation comes, Duddy uses overt action by trying to get away from it, roll away from it, and come back with your own. Again, the right hand on the inside, a little step over, uppercut, nice work from John Duddy. A busy first round, a couple of middleweights. We move into round number two of this middleweight encounter. An eight-rounder, John Duddy in the green trunks. What other, what other color could they be? And in the uh, white and blue, it is Wilmer Mejia. 
as he tries to fend off the aggression of John Duddy. Very good first round for Duddy, who trains in New York. And you know, in the old days, as you know, they used to chop down trees, the old timers. Well, uh, instead, they he, he ends every workout hitting uh, tires with a sledgehammer because as he points out, in New York, you get in a lot of trouble if you chop down trees. So his, they, they hit a big, big tires with a sledgehammer, so creative. That'll make you tired. Yes, it will. Get a good view of Duddy on the inside, blasting away with that hook. That's all we've seen from Duddy, all on the inside. But from Mejia, he's got to get something going. Get some punches going, throw, maybe try an uppercut, try a hook on the outside. And then you gotta do something to stop this, this assault, this attack. And you know what, he's a, he's a good fighter himself. He had been around the boxing since he was seven years old. So he got into boxing because there are a lot of his friends and family that are of Santa Domingo uh, boxing clubs. So he started going to the boxing club in Santa Domingo. Got off to a great start in tour 11 and one but in his last uh, eight fights is four, three, and one. So things have slowed down a bit for me here. And right now he's having all kinds of problems in the early rounds with John Duddy. That Duddy's a buzzsaw. Look at these punches from Duddy too. On the outside, on the inside, a, a hook, a straight right, a jab from Duddy. And here trying to give him some movement, but it seems always to end with his back against the ropes, as it does here. And the movement's important now, but once you move, when you maneuver to that new position, you got a strike. And he is not doing that. Good strike from Duddy. Left hook. And he landed a right hook, and Duddy immediately followed with his own double left. Of course, that's a very effective weapon against the left. Under a minute left to go in round one, and finally, he is able to land a, a good jab, and there's another one. So, oh, I can hit. You hear, the Irish, yeah. you hear the Irish people singing up there? That's what they do at all the, the soccer matches in Ireland. They, they sing it, they, and they're singing here. You the beautiful, uh, you know, beautiful Irish deep voices. You unfortunately experienced that when you went to fight I, James Watt in, the, in Ireland. It wasn't as pleasant but for then, you then. They were singing against me. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. <laughs> that ruined my chances that in was, that fight. That wasn't very nice of them. <laughs> Your last name's okay. All right. Remaining seconds here in round number two. It's been a superb two rounds for John Duddy, the youngster, the 26-year-old, fighting out of New York, originally from Derry in Northern Ireland. And he's having his way with Wilmer Mejia. Boy, a very nice round. Different complexion in this second than back in that first. Remember in that first, Dirty Duddy was just Smuggling going yourself. after him. Now he's I kind of to start using your right shots. hand. Yeah. Stop following him around. Step over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all he in there, he's in, in it to survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Step over. Double your right hand. I want your right hand. Stop smuggling yourself yeah. and stop trying to uh, relax. Yeah. You gotta relax. No you know what I'm saying? Concentrate and relax. Keep your eyes on the prize. Well, it was John Duddy who is working the combination punches. When one misses, come back with another one. You know, when your opponent ducks, especially the way that Mejia ducks, he ducks, he takes his eyes off, off of you, off your off his opponent. He ducks down. We are getting ready here for round number three in this scheduled eight rounder. Still to come, remember, a couple of heavyweight matchups. Lance Whitaker, perennial contender against Sultan Ibragimov. And we're also going to get a chance to look at the wild press conference footage uh, of uh, the press conference leading up to that fight that was held in November. And also then in our main event, Sam Peter taking on Robert Hawkins. Right now, it's John Duddy. Blasting away on the inside of his Wilmer Mejia. In the press conference, I think Whitaker wanted to add that to his fight by fight, but I don't think it counts, actually. <laughs> well, they did give him a knockout of Samson Lukowicz. Yeah, that's right. He knocked him out. Manager. TKO won. Yeah, the manager. And fortunate that he's okay. Yeah, we're very but happy he, about he that. He had to go to the hospital. And Samson, before the fight was going with us, he said, that I'm on medical sus uh, suspension. <laughs> Well, good jab by John Duddy. That's the one weapon we haven't seen a lot of so far from him, but everything else has certainly been landed. He's trying to put Mejia on medical suspension. Right 
or two steps on their feet. See how close their front feet are? You're constantly, when you fight a southpaw, good jab from Mejia. You fight a southpaw, you're stepping on his foot or he's stepping on yours. Tutty going down to the body. He's very committed to body work as well as going to the head. Look at the way Mejia is circling too. Circles a lot to his left. That's into the power of, of John Duddy. That right hand is where his power is. He runs into that right hand. If he goes the other way, he runs away from the right hand. That's good work. That set up that attack from, the, from uh, Duddy. You know, John Duddy, while he's a very aggressive fighter, Sean is not a fighter without defensive ability. I mean, he can slip punches and show some defensive yeah. acumen. Look at that. Uh, he, he misses, makes his opponent miss, and then he counters. Miss and counter. Make your opponent miss, then rack him. Uh, a little over a minute left to go here in uh, round number three of the schedule eight rounder, and it's more of saying Duddy just humbling Bloomer and Mejia, but Mejia fighting back with a good straight left hand there. He's trying to fight back a little bit more this round as Mejia than he was in that first and second, kind of getting loosened up a bit. Staying off the ropes a little bit, but eventually always gets driven to the ropes. There's a nice straight right hand by Duddy. I tell you, Mejia's tough. He's hanging in there. He's taking some big shots to both the body and the head. And he's trying to throw, trying to set up an attack. He, he looks a bit confused. It's, it's pressure from Duddy. And he's waiting for Duddy to tire out. I don't think John's going to tire out. Probably not over eight rounds, that's for sure. So another big round for John Duddy, a transplanted Irishman who is fighting out of New York. Doing it quite well, we might add. So round three passes into the night. It does so oh, with very good body. punches by John Duddy. Well, lots of uh, famous boxing celebs in the audience. None much more famous than this guy. Nick Charles is with uh, a great guy. He is. Everybody loves Angelo Dundee. Angie, we're in your town now, baby. Oh, thank God. I mean, what, how about this hard rock? Isn't it great? <laughs> Fabulous place to watch a fight. Not a bad seat in the house. Angelo, impressions of John Duddy. John Duddy? looks like a heck of a looking prospect. He's fighting the southpaw, he's fighting the only way you know how, with aggression. And uh, this kid ain't bad, he's fighting. What, how's he making it tough on Duddy? Well, no, Duddy's fighting the only way he can fight a southpaw. You gotta take yeah. the job, get him. If he waits on the southpaw, he's liable to get himself licked. Right. So he's fighting the only way he knows how, with aggression. That's the way he wins. But how's this other guy making it a little difficult for Duddy? Well, he's, he's smart, he's slick, and he got a good right hook for a southpaw. That's a heck of a weapon. Nothing better than seeing Angelo Dundee ringside at any fight. Thanks, Angie. Back to you, Al. Couldn't agree with that any more than... Uh... Than that, Nick. No, he's the best. Angelo's Angelo a wonderful the, guy. He's always in a good mood, too. He, he's, he's always in a good mood. If uh, yeah. It's great to hear him to say, too, you know, if he doesn't hold his hands up, he will get licked. Well, guess oh, what? It's, it's always licked. It's over. <laughs> wow. Wil Wilmer Mejia has uh, That's all. decided that discretion is the better part of valor, and he's done for the evening. And so the onslaught of John Duddy over three rounds got it done. And uh, he shows why people are um, so excited about him. He's a 26-year-old who now has 14 wins as a pro and 13 uh, going into this and gets his 13th stoppage among his 14 wins. And it's a crowd-pleasing, fun style to watch. It is fun to watch him fight. And he, you know, like I said earlier, he's excited about the sport of boxing. He loves boxing. His father far before him. He's been around the, the ring his whole life. You know, first fight at seven years old. He looked up to Barry McWiggan, Ken Buchanan, mm -hmm. you know, all the great fighters. And he, he's, he's a tough guy, too. He had 130 as an amateur, got his jaw broke in uh, one of the fights. And he was yeah. more upset about not being able to represent his com country in the Olympics than he was about the breaking of his jaw. He said that hurt him more than the actual break. And uh, He's a gamer, that's for sure. And, uh, and the, the thing I think you have to like about John Duddy is He's, well, he's an aggressive fighter who makes exciting fights, and uh, that's a nice kiss for uh, a job well done. Good thing he won. Yeah, really? <laughs> uh, what you have to like about him is he's a technically sound fighter, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's got his head, his head on his shoulders straight. He thinks in the ring. You can see him bobbing and weaving. He's got all the... All the moves and more savvy than a fighter of his age. He's Bob's and knees, he takes his time, he's patient. Patience uh, works out well, and some of that 
in the corner of Wilmer Mejia. We are told that he broke his hand, and uh, they, of course, wouldn't know until they put an X-ray on it. But, well, I tell you, he's a tough kid to hang in there for, for as long as he did. So, obviously, a hand injury, oh. the, at least uh, ostensibly the reason for that stoppage, and James Waring uh, tells us. And I'll tell you, Al, when you break a hand, even the other hand hurts. When you hit with the other hand, you're, it'll shake your hand that's broken. And, oh, it's terrible pain. All right, you also so, have garlic taste in your mouth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's send things up to Bob Alexander. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Live Arena here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the ringside physician has advised that this fight be stopped due to a broken hand suffered by Wilmer Mejia. Referee James Waring stops this bout. Unable to answer the round number four is Mejia. Your winner by technical knockout, John Duddy. 14th win as a professional for John Duddy. The 13th stoppage, and his, uh, his train keeps on rolling toward what he hopes certainly will be a shot at some point at a world title. He's probably a little bit away from that, but nevertheless, he's a middleweight on the rise. And uh, we'll hear more from John Duddy.